Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. So today we're doing another one of those vlog slash my experience videos. This time it's for the Drifters Girl. Normally I film this before I go and see the show, not this time. I've already been, I have the programme. So if you want to see what I got up to, stick around and we'll get it into it in two whole seconds. <laughs> Normally you get a change of clothes here and you're not. <laughs> um, and I don't know how much footage I actually got in the vlog portion uh, because I literally legged it from work to the train station, train station to the hippodrome. So I was just like, ah! And I'm under the weather as well, so that did not help. Um, but here we are, sat back here, and we have the programme we are going to film the separate review video shortly um but let's talk about my experience at the drifters girl so i'm gonna stick it out there and say i actually saw this show in london and i kind of knew what to expect i knew that there was a few moments that i was a bit jumpy with but it wasn't a massive situation um, in regards to loud noises and bright lights which is also always as if you've ever watched one of these videos before one of my moments that I'm a bit unsure of um, I am not a fan of a loud noise and I get very nervous if I see a gun on stage because I'm always scared that it's going to make some kind of noise Warhorse was a scary anyway story for a different day um but with this show main problems and the main moments that i uh just wanted to point out were in act one um i have got the list on my phone so i'm not being rude i just can't remember things so uh my main things to warn are in act one like i said um towards the end of act one there is a moment where the drifters are going through um mid america i want to say and they cut in between the singing and then using like a kind of a static-esque noise uh it transports everything into like a very focused drifters moment where they are in being or voicing the words of police and the police are very much saying we've had a we've had some crime in the area they just they look like your description is it you and then it comes back to the present day and turns back into that police monologue again um monologue dialogue i don't know they're all saying the same thing but there's four of them uh, pff, moving on um and when the it sh that shift happens uh there is like a, a scratch kind of noise and everything apart from just them goes dark it's not a blackout as such but it, it is a shift in lighting um that happens a few times and each time the noise and the lights coincide with what happens and at the end of that little portion um something he, the they all say as the police something along the line of well me and my buddies need to sort you out and then there is a gunshot there is no visible gun it's just the sound of this gunshot um and it's kind of unexpected they do kind of talk about 
teaching someone a le lesson and taking out trash, something along those lines, and then there is the bang, um, and then the lighting goes back to normal and they go into the rest of that scene. But it is something to be aware of because it, it made me jump. Other than that, I didn't have too many major moments. Uh, the music is, wasn't too loud in comparison to some other shows I've seen recently. The lighting is bright and fun at times, but nothing is shone into the audience, which is also usually a trigger-ish for me. Um, so they are my t a couple of main moments that I just wanted to mention. Other than that, there we are. The other thing I did want to mention, however, is uh, I've said this recently. In fact, I probably in my last one of these as a review, um, which I haven't filmed yet. So that's how I'm like, I don't know which which way around I'm doing it. But jukebox mu musicals, especially jukebox musicals, where the target audience, if you will, is of the slightly older generation. <laughs> I feel we need to sit them down and say, number one, don't be drinking the whole way through the show. I am not one of those people I'm like, don't drink, how you can at least enjoy yourself a little bit. However, you have paid up to like 60, 70 pounds for a seat in a theater to see a musical. Don't be singing along. <laughs> Because I don't know about anybody else, but it distracts me like nobody's business. I literally, I'm the first, I really want to be one of those people that like literally turns around and just goes, shut up. But I don't. I internalise it. And it just drives me up, 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 up the wall. But last night we had uh, one guy who was in the row behind who literally had his light, phone light looking at something at full brightness. Uh, so the usher very politely said, you can't do that, sir. He went, oh, sorry, full full volume in the midst of a song. So anyone not near me probably missed it. But he was like, oh, sorry, I didn't understand. I couldn't do that. He was from Birmingham, not from wherever that accent was. Um, there was also something going on in the front of the stalls, literally front row of the stalls. <laughs> Act two started, three women holding their little theatre approved plastic cups of alcohol literally got up and started dancing in the middle of a song front row of the stalls so the entirety of that one side of the stalls literally could see nothing for a short period of time and I was just like oh my gosh two ushers had to come and tell them to sit down because the first one they completely ignored even though she was flashing in their faces <sighs> And she's back in the room. I just had to have that rant. I love a good jukebox musical, but we need to stop singing in them. And I don't know why I said we, cause I just, it's one of my pet peeves. <sighs> anyway, that is the story for a different day. She's back. Um, however, saying all this, it didn't take away from my enjoyment of the show. You will see the next video when I talk about my thoughts and feelings. And if you uh, have been seeing me for a while or watching me for a while back when I had a different channel, um, I quite enjoy this show. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Um, but yes, I do enjoy the show and that is okay. <laughs> you can enjoy a show, but just do it nicely and calmly and don't sing along and we'll all be friends, okay? Okay. Anyway, that is enough of me rambling. Um, I was sat towards the top of the circle at the Hippodrome. I had no problems. Leg room wasn't the best, but I didn't expect it to be. Um, but I saw absolutely everything, so there was no sightline problems or anything like that. I, I don't really know if there's anything else I need to say so if I do feel free to ask me in the comments um but I will leave you alone I've had my rant thank you for listening if you have um but that is all I need to say for today thank you for watching and all that's left is so long farewell and adieu bye